Welcome to the Scribble Spotlight for March 2021. While galleries remain closed around the country, the goal of our Spotlight series is to bring you with us through videos as we take a closer look around the visually rich and fascinating artworks and architecture in our community. Today we're focusing the spotlight on the area surrounding the main UCC campus. Even though so many of us are studying from home or even further away from UCC, we're still exceptionally proud of our beautiful campus, and with spring in full bloom at the moment, we're delighted to show you that the campus is looking better than ever. One of the first things that catches your eye as you enter UCC is the Lewis Gluckspin Gallery. The building itself is magnificent, designed by the award-winning O'Donnell and Toomey architects. Around this time last year, we were lucky enough to hold our Quarryman exhibition in the Gluckspin Gallery on the grounds of UCC. The Gluckspin is the epicenter of experiencing the visual arts in UCC. It frequently exhibits shows curated in collaboration with the university, has a superb curriculum and program of events, and features works by Irish and international contemporary artists. Its facade is a beautifully modern wooden hull, like a ship weighing anchor amidst the sea of treetops. The main body of the building is raised in the air, considerably occupying an impressively small footprint on the ground level, disrupting the natural landscape to a minimum. Indeed, the Glucksman cherishes the landscape it co-inhabits. Large windows flood the gallery space with natural lighting, and you can see the river and floodplains really well from its bird's eye viewpoint. Closer to the heart of the campus, the architecture assumes its signature Gothic Revival style blanketed in creeping ivy. You can wander around the campus and find all sorts of beautiful things, such as the Hun Chapel stained glass windows by Harry Clark, whose work we looked at in the last month's video, or charming obscurities like this sundial. The grounds and gardens of the main campus are dotted with outdoor stone and bronze sculptures, including busts of historic figures such as mathematician George Boole, for whom the library is named after and other more abstract, figurative pieces, like these stargazers outside the verdigree domed Crawford Observatory. Among the collection is an intriguing sculpture by Michael Quain called Figure Talking to a Quadruped. We see a reclining figure inspecting a smaller, mysterious creature perched on a pedestal, possibly canine, possibly equine, possibly neither, described only by its number of legs. The general theme and atmosphere of this sculpture is uncanny and ambiguous. There is an infectious curiosity about it, a scientific curiosity, that reminds us that even here in the university, there are still countless mysteries and unanswerable questions, or at least unanswered for now. There is an absorbing tension between these sculptures, and another tension between them and us as the viewer. The treatment of form and volume in these stone sculptures is masterful. It is rare that stone can fold and slouch like that. Indeed, the surface of the stone is embellished with a mark making that resembles cross-hatching, as though it is not that far removed from archaic sculptural traditions, calling on ideas of heritage and learning from the past, a tally marks, rudimentary calculation, or perhaps a runic or prehistoric script, which leads us to another nearby treasure. Housed in the north wing of the quad, you can find our collection of Oum stones, a series of large stone-carved artefacts from between the 4th and 8th century. Oum was a form of lettering used by cutting angled incisions into the sides of standing stones, typically used as grave markers in pre-Christian Ireland. These stones also linger with memory. They are obelisks to language, history, and our visual culture. A short walk from here is Fitzgerald's Park, home to a captivating cast of sculptures where busts of historic figures like Eamon de Valera, Tom Barry, and Michael Collins can be seen alongside other more expressive sculptures that we hope you enjoy. Earlier we mentioned that last year we held a Scribble Sock art exhibition called The Quarryman, which took place this time last year in the Glucksman Gallery. All of our scribblers were invited to submit works inspired by a short publication of poetry of the same name. This year we're holding an online showcase exhibition titled Dystopia Now, and we're inviting all our scribblers to submit work in any media, such as drawing, photography, performance, sculpture, and so on, that responds to themes that concern quarantine, social distance, protests and equality, climate, 
and the surreal contemporary experience of life in 2021. Check out our social media for more details on how to submit. And for now, take care and stay tuned for more Scribble Spotlight.